Huge news coming out of Dropbox. Uh, 68 million usernames and passwords uh, have been leaked. Uh, and this was discovered uh, recently by a motherboard, which is a, a, a sub blog of Vice. And um, Dropbox, of course, is a storage software and a lot of people upload things into the cloud through Dropbox. Uh, it's affecting most of the usernames and passwords prior to 2012. So a lot of people like myself have gotten prompts to change your passwords now. But what Dropbox is saying is uh, if, you're use, if you use those passwords on other sites because it's physical passwords these people have, they might try to log into other mm. sites like Twitter, like Facebook, even your banking information. So I love Dropbox. I think it's still, it was a good service then. It's a good service now. It's, it's great and I changed my password yep. and I'm changing passwords to other sites. Always good though to change your password, change your PIN mm -hmm. on any cards, you know, your bank card and your, your, your credit card. It's always good to change them from time to time. But the problem is again, you forget that yeah. password. And you use the same password on so many sites. I'm guilty of the same thing. Uh, we should, maybe this is a good segment, how to create a strong password because... This is good. I had a really good tip from someone who works here at City about having a different password for every site, but there's a root password and then there are different symbols you put at the beginning and end of every password. Um, so maybe that's something we can, should share one day. Can, actually, let's do it today. Okay. Can you do a little research on it? And then maybe later on, seven, eight o'clock, can you do a Facebook Live? Sure. That, let's, let's, do, do let's do that. So we're going to, he's going to find out, you know, and then some sites want numbers, some sites want uppercase, lowercase, they yeah. want symbols, they don't want symbols. Yeah, and there you have a tiered system where you have different, more secure passwords for certain sites like financial information, yeah. and then for everything else you use a basic password. And then how do you remember that password? So if, if I could ask you, because you've talked before mm -hmm. about different sites that help hold your passwords so you can get at them all the time. Yeah. Maybe you could tell people about those sites as well and Absolutely. show them. All right, Great. so that's Facebook Live coming up a little later on BT.